Hello, this is Chaos Baloo, and welcome to Minecraft and bad camera controls. We are here because I'm going to give you a tour of the next part of my city. The middle part. The ground floor, so to speak. I'm at the traditional entrance to it, but before then, I do have one really quick thing I need to mention. Way quicker than last time. It is about my schedule. It's... I recently started classes again, so my schedule is going to change. There's going to be less episodes each week. I don't know how many l less. Maybe four, maybe three, maybe even two. Who knows? Um, <laughs> but also I'm going to be uploading on different days, which I think you'll figure out what those days are soon enough. In fact, I'm going to be doing that more immediately because I'm going to more or less keep the five days a week thing until I finish Final Fantasy V because I've finished editing all those videos so I just need to, well, keep posting them, you know? But after I finish them, I am going to be reducing it at least somewhat. I'm going to aim for four episodes a week of my two series, the F Golden Sun and whatever places Final Fantasy V. But I don't. But I may not be able to maintain that, and in which case it will become less. That said, I am pretty sure I can maintain at least two episodes a week, so I feel fairly confident saying you can probably expect at least that much, bare minimum, and ideally more. Uh, with that out of the way, I should just quickly mention one other thing. And that is that I'm going to throw hints in for my next series after Final Fantasy V into this video. But, until then, until I throw in hints, that is, I guess, on with the tour! As I said, this is the s s regular, or the, I guess regular isn't the right word, but the desired entrance for someone to take when entering my city. It is the Underway, which I showed you in the last Minecraft video. And this stairway is a mess. I should really fix it. Oh well. But, welcome to Capolis, the lower city. Now, immediately you should notice a few things. It's nighttime, so it's sort of dark. But, it's also, if it. But it's also darker down here in general than it is up there. There's also a bunch of pipes and stuff up above us that was below us before. And a lot of them like leak and stuff. Now here is a very nice building. Not really. But it's a very important building. And why is that? Here stands the first structure ever built here. We remember those that came from here. Indeed. Uh, this shitty structure, before it got blown up by a creeper, um, was the very first thing I built here before it even had creative mode. Because I needed somewhere to stay while I was waiting to get stuff started, and for that matter, while I was building this. And now it is so much more. Oh, by the way, I should probably mention there seems to be a bit of a some a thunderstorm going on. Not in my immediate area, but close enough that you're probably going to hear some thunder in the background. So if you're wondering what that is, well, it's thunder. Hmm. Not much signage here, is there? But it is a nice patio. Or at least it would be if it had a better view. Huh. Okay then. Anyway, we can continue going this way along the path. There are various small house buildings here. Uh, this is a more traditional type building. Whereas something like this here is a more newer one. With the distinction being, this one is a lot is larger but it's a lot more thrown together and it's built into the support of the towers whereas this is completely on its own 
And I will go in here, actually. There's nothing in inside, but there's a dock in the back. Not that there's much... T not that there's anything out here, now that I look. Hmm. I know there used to be a boat here, I wonder what happened to it. Well, whatever. Can I... knew. I designed it, the fence too well, apparently. Now, something to notice that you may have picked up right away, although, although maybe not, I, I don't know, is that, unlike the upper city, there is n no glowstone lighting down here. It's all torches and fire. Uh, well, not fire in this area, but there's fire later on. Danger, do not enter! I wonder what's down there. Well, there's a train track, but aside from that... Anyway... People of the lower may go to the upper for business, but they must follow strict rules and curfew. After which they must return to the lower, or face the wrath of the high blood. And this is the bottom part of what we saw before, the tower that lets people go from down here to up there, legally. Anyway, because there are a few secrets. And there's also a fence to get on the piping, which I'm not actually showing because honestly there's not much to see for the, those. It's more it's more there for the for helping the dynamic between the upper and lower than is for actually exploring on its own. At least in the context of this tour. This outpost regulates traffic to the upper. And I don't remember if there's any more signs in here. Although there is a desk! Bureaucrats at every level, you know? It happens. And this is just a waiting area, I think. Anyway, let's go ahead and... Yep. And jump down. Because creative mode! Huzzah! Now, having mentioned earlier that this is part of the piping, that means that a lot of this is actually uh, a lot of the newer structures. Anything with the pipes. Well, any pipe that does not plug into a tower, like, uh, um, where is a good example? Like this pipe. This tower was here for a long time, but I put a pipe basically through it. This structure and this one, however, were built to help support the pipes and make them look you know, more in place. Plus also as an excuse to cover up more their area and make it feel more claustrophobic down here. Uh, although as a result, some of the positioning decisions may be a little bit uh, poorly thought out. I'll admit. Well, that works. Um, let's go in here. Because there's a thing in here. Remember when I said their stuff was built into towers? Well, I freaking meant it. This tower is sort of empty up down here. There's something up, up near the top, though. I think. I don't know, which tower is this? In the lower city, all the windows face the water. Some were more successful in doing so than others, it seems. But at one time, they all did. And in fact, they all still do, really. Which is an interesting dynamic in this place, actually. Everyone who lives in the lower city is nostalgic for a view unobstructed by towers. So all of their windows look towards the, ne the nearest seaside view where that is the case. What is that? Up th oh, that's what that is. Right. I forgot about that. Uh, we're on the roof now, but there's also another thing here. It's another little house. Another thing that's really common in the lower city is building on top of things like this. It stands to reason you would do it, building into towers, because the support is there and it's a good foundation, they're not using it anyway. But they take it a step further, they build on top of each other's things as much as anything. And it's Insofar as anything is in the lower city, it's prime real estate to be higher up. Because you're further off the ground, it's safer, well, better lit, 
and you're closer to where the citizens of the upper city are. So it's a status symbol, really, as well. Um, oh, that was a loud one. Um, and the lower city also has many docks, like little docks like this, because it was, or so the setting seems to imply, originally a primarily a fishing and wharf town, or possibly even towns, because it is qu quite a large island relative to, well, yeah. And as you can see, you can even sort of peek into the dock over there, and you can probably sneak in pretty easily as well, but you can't actually walk in from here. What you... This is just a big, um... It, it's basically a motel. I mean, it's not a motel. More like apartment building, I guess, but... It, it's apartments. Not really much interesting in there, unfortunately. But it is big, and it takes a lot of space, and it has a dangerous staircase. Um... This, on the other hand... Those above have built their place on top of us. Hmm, I wonder what's that way up there. So we've done likewise and used their towers as homes. That should not be dirt. Oops. Um. Which is what I was getting at earlier. Oh, that's a pretty nice window view. Get a nice view of the ship. Um. But yeah, which is sort of what I was getting at earlier. Where there's two or three types of housing in the lower city. The type that was been there forever and is sort of run down but it's built well. And the type that's being sort of ham shackled together and built into the foundations of the things above. And then there's the industrial district, which is more or less what it sounds like. But I'll get to that later. For now, we have... We were here, right? Well, there's a little nice... I wouldn't really call this a plaque, but there's a thing here. Sort of like a town... I don't know what I would call it, actually. A town thingy. That's that's helpful. And a sewage offshoot, because, you know, that happens. But there's also this area where I can climb onto the great big iron wharf. Not that there's really much out here, presumably because they tr the people or the nobles try to keep this thing fairly clean. But there's a lot of light, so if you come here at night, it's probably fairly safe. And if you don't have anywhere else to go, uh, as long as you don't go onto this big scary ship here, which I never haven't actually completely finished filling out. But as you can see, it's very dark and very full of monsters. Um, I'm not going to actually show this off right now, the ship. It's it's not really quite done, plus also, uh, what I think I'll do for the ship is I'll show you it the same time I'm showing the nobles. By the way, in case you're wondering about these, it's something, they are what's left of a little project. Oh, that was loud that I was working in the sky pier that I decided I didn't like and abandoned. I cleaned up the rest of it, I just left the blocks there. I really should get around to fix cleaning up them as well at some point, but I haven't yet. More house- ooh! Pet park. That sign is not really accurate anymore. <laughs> Once upon a time, this was filled with sheep and dogs. Well dogs anyway. The sheep didn't last very long. Neither did the dogs, because there was an open fire in the middle. It wasn't a very good pet park. Um, but then I decided to replace the shitty pet park with something that's a little more practical. But I never got rid of the sign, apparently. Although, a pet park with that in it might pet... No, no, don't get sidetracked. Now then, ooh, towns often have crawl spaces at their bases, or towers, rather. Once found, such a space can be dug out and lived in. 
as happened here, it seems. What is that noise? Is there anything in here? No, of course not. Wow, why do I have sand in my inventory? Get rid of that. Much better. Okay. Um, and the dirty cutting bench. But, is that fire? Where's fire? Yeah, this is right below an incinerator. So, maybe dangerous living, but I bet but I bet it keeps warm at least. And then you have something like this. Those above have the exotic stones. We have simple wood and cobble, but we know how to use them better than the rarest rock. A testament to the builders of the city, both top and or both upper and lower. Oh, great, it's raining. Um, no, it's not great at all. Why is rain so loud? But yes, all if there's one thing the people of Calopolis have going for them on every level is that they are really the their architects are really top notch. If I'm tooting my own horn horn here a bit. They all know how to build what needs to get built. Even in poor circumstances, such as something that's tacked on to the side of the tower. Man, why is rain so loud in Minecraft? Oh well. I really wish I could just tune into the sounds on individual sounds. I could just turn down rain and leave everything else turned up. Oh great, now I have thunder in Minecraft as well, because you know, I didn't have enough of that in real life. Uh, this is a, clearly a communal bedroom, but there's nothing really all that interesting in there. Uh, we'll continue going this way in a sec. We're right below the park right now, I think. But, I want to show a little bit, little side thing. Just to de just this one to demonstrate something that this is the foundation for a tower and as you can see there's water down here but there's also like a cave behind it there's something in here although I'm not gonna t show you what just yet and this sort of thing is all over the place in Calopolis they're usually well hidden and they're always places that people stay away from if they know what's good for them but there are still there, no matter how much they wish they were. Anyway, now we can come to... Oh, hey, I forgot about this. This is a pipe that's actually in the ground. It's a really big one. I think it was an improvement to this structure overall, to be honest. Um, but also in this area is this nice little uh, key area. They say banishment here is favorable. They say banishment to here, referring to the lower city, is favorable to the tier or tor. I can never remember. And this used to be a really nice view. And then I built this the big opera house slash auditorium because I felt this the view from the key in the undercity was too good. Given enough time, the nobles can ruin every any view. I don't know though. Th maybe this is just pride for having built the thing, but I like looking at the, at the opera house. My only complaint is I don't have shanty things connected to the supports, which is impractical because it's in the middle of the freaking ocean. I can't actually get anything into there, you know. But I, di I digress. And we have some nice key houses with windows. And another weird chained off area. Hmm. Well, whatever. Oh, and I almost missed it actually. There's also. There's also a big ha. Well, I say big. Well, there's a tower here, which means there's a house in space. Fundations. Typo! Ah! Make for some unique interior challenges. But the trade-off is you'll never have to worry about someone building a new tower through your home. 
It's a trade that all but the very stubborn and very stupid would take. So yeah, some living in a tower, in the bottom of a tower you've dug out, is not is often not the best living space. But it's guaranteed that your home is going to stay where it is. Whereas, if you have an old school uh, house, at any point, a new tower could be built on top of you and ruin your living space completely. Which, besides in lore, has actually happened a few times in some of my improvements, I'll tell you. There's just... There's a bit of everything in here, actually. It is the foundation, and it's pretty well stocked. With a nice open door. Now, now then, this little thing is something you might recall. The actual interior is quite small and built right into there. Hmm. Oh, these windows should not be here. But I guess they're kind of shitty windows, so whatever. However, you probably recognize this building, although you may not realize it because... No matter how well the boundaries are policed, the upper will never keep out all the unwelcome. This is the little sneaky place into the upper city, one of them anyway. Clever house design, eh? Not really, actually. It kind of looks like shit from the back if you look at it as a house. But, you know, it works, so whatever. Why is that door wide open? Why are these doors wide open? Oh hey, speaking of houses that had support structures built on top of them, yo. Although this is a fairly, um, a fairly, uh, what's the word? The opposite of malign. Um, this is a fairly benign example. In any case, Man, you can tell which ha which rooms I furnished recently because all the old ones just have a bed in them, and all the ones that I did more re in the last few months actually have stuff in them. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this house is real. The shape is really weird, which you may have saw, or may not, and a nice window facing into the opera house. But it's weird because it has this nice balcony. People build balconies in the lower city because they want to feel closer to the upper. Which is true, the view from the ba a balcony is often the best they can do relative to the view one would see in the upper city. Honestly, it doesn't really compare very well, but it compels better than being down here. I suppose. Now, there's a path split here. No, there isn't. There's a path split over there. Uh, there's nothing in here, is there? Nope, just a bed. This one I should really furnish. There's a lot of room in here. Also, apparently zombies. I think they're on the roof. There's a nice view outside, though, so that's something. Note to self, furnish this house. Um, so, we are going to go this way first, and then we'll sort of wrap around later. Over here, this is the... Hey, look, pipes. Go figure. This is a path that actually goes right through the support of... I believe this is the lion... Or the horn lion tower. Uh, indeed it is. In the dimness of the towers above, there is still enough light to keep safe. True, it's not glowstone... It's not no glowstone lantern, but torches are nearly as good and far easier to make. Of course, they only help in places they're actually light. It, um, hi, skeleton! You're on the roof. Dude, come on. What? Where did this stupid enderman? And it's another wharf! Now this is a really good view, actually. Complete with a view into the re the really big one. Most of the current lower city was built after the upper city began, but remnants of the old still remain. 
such as this very empty but at least nice looking on the outside structure I need to furnish this one as well I gotta be honest oh well <laughs> one thing at a time one thing at a time if we keep going though it's a melon farm for some well I guess you can grow melons in the relative dark that's what this seems to imply why is there a big hole there I don't remember that hole being there man I don't know and there's also this big sealed off area although it has some pipes in it now that weren't that are a relatively recent addition but it's still big and sealed off uh, and speaking of sealed off, yet another fenced off section. Uh, wait. Why is there a chunk of wall missing there? I'm gonna, oh. Oh, you know what, I think I know what that's from. That's probably the same, this is probably from the same thing, actually. Hmm. I'm gonna need to remember to fix this later. But, you know, it's not a big deal. I'll worry about it later. We still have more touring to do! To places like... Oh. Really? Really? Oh, for crying out loud. How did I not realize this was here? Okay, so... This is damage from the project that I was doing up in the sky there. That you can't see because it's all dark. Um... Which, I cleaned up most of the damage, but clearly I missed a spot. Oh, oh well. Hmm, I might leave that hole there. I'll, I'm definitely leaving this hole that here, it actually works well. Still need to fix that though. Any, anyway, I, I, I need to fix this too. I digress. Into... Oh. Oh my. This place has been damaged pretty badly. Um... Well, there was a big hill here, with a nice dock, and the temple, and the wiring is totally exposed. Oh, wait. Okay, well, guess what I'm going to be doing after I finish this. But, you know, I can still show you. This falls all the way out of the world. It's a trap, and it can kill anyone. If I walk, stood here and I pressed the button that is has been destroyed, it would kill me. Uh, which is why I'm not going to do it, because I cannot get back here quickly. Incidentally. <laughs> okay, so, I- oops. Just oops. Oh well. Oh well! Oh well. Oops. <laughs> Don't believe I did. Don't believe I missed this whole area for repairs. That's just kind of bad. Delayed pitfall- okay, this is part of the industrial area. We will be- wrapping around this part late well no we won't we'll show I'll show it now the purpose of the industrial area in a well in lore sense it is to provide some actual buying power to the city the people in lower city build all sorts of weird contraptions and sell them in the in the meta sense it's a place for me to screw around with redstone to try to build stuff. In this case, if I put a pressure plate here, I could walk into the pressure plate and everything would stay standing. But as soon as I walked off the pressure plate, the whole structure would collapse. And I'm not going to demonstrate that it because, frankly, I don't want to reset it. it. It's a pain. Um, but that's what would happen. Take my word for it. Reaper, what you're looking at. I hope you're not thinking what I think you're thinking. Uh, nothing in here. Although it is sort of built onto the side of a cliff. Ooh, that's a scary sound. Sometimes you get those cave sounds in the lower city because, yo. And a really big growing area, which is in, like, I think the one spot in the whole city that actually gets some consistent sunlight. At least in Minecraft, son. 
Because let's face it, this whole thing would be covered in shadows if it applied more world, real world uh, lighting. But, you know, I can't really complain about it, that. And you can actually get into the piping up here. Uh, is there any signs? I thought there was one. Nope, I guess not. But yeah, you can actually get into the piping here and get around for quite a while. Again, though, I'm not really going to explore the piping because it's, just, it's not really a whole lot to show in this format. It's... If you ever find your way onto the server, I would recommend check, exploring the pipes on your own. But... I, I'm not going to go through it. Now this large building serves a very special purpose. Binary switch development. Or in other words, how to turn a button into a lever. This is actually a really inefficient way to do it, I, I gotta say. When I de first developed it, this was about the best you could do, but there are much better solutions now that they have added red, more redstone options. Solutions such as this, which uses pistons, and this, which uses the... what is that one called? Actually, the... a comparator. The comparator one is the best one. It uses l least space, and because it's not reliant on piston power, it, or, oh right, this is powered by the block. The, the ones downstairs are piston power as well, but they use pistons, this uses pistons in a different way. Of course, the problem with the piston power is it's prone to bugs. This one works, but again, the comparator is really where it's at. In any case, this is not a redstone lecture. Um, uh, out the door, please. Speaking of redstone, uh, well, we're gonna go over here, actually, because we're gonna wrap around now. But I'll get to the, that other redstone in a second. I wonder what that hatch is for. Not gonna check it out, so it must be something important. Um, this is like a li nice little eating area, and I think this is a bedroom. It is! With w really good windows, actually. Probably one of the better views in the lower city. I should probably put a kitchen in here, but oh well. By the way, you see, there are houses that have furnishing. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway. Which brings us to this thing, which is actually, well, say what you will of the people living in the lower. There are few communities more resourceful. So this was a cafe at one point, but I decided to uh, repurpose it because Frankly, a cafe doesn't really suit the lower city very well. I mean, I put it here because it had a good view into the ocean, which is not really as much the case anymore. So now, it's like bleachers. Which is relative, relatively close to the the uh, auditorium, so if they're doing like a concert or something, you can hopefully hear it from here. Probably not as well, but it's something. And this is a scary place that we will talk about more later on. Do not enter. Um, and by later on, I mean in a future video, because we're not doing it in this one. And with that, it brings us back to this area with a- get rid of that stupid enderman. Uh, this area with all of the redstone! What's all this redstone, you ask? Well, one directional time binary lever. Full adder. Control on decoder. If none of this makes any sense to you, then don't worry. It just means you are not a massive computer geek. Um, all of this redstone are different pieces of the arithmetic logic unit of a computer, which for quick 101 for you, it's basically the core component that makes it the your machine work. Well, it's a core component. It's the CPU that does all of the math stuff. And your computer runs on math stuff. 
And I built every every piece of one in Minecraft using redstone. I'm probably because I plan well for fun partially, but also because I plan on building a full ALU at some point. I'll make sure I show it to you if I ever do. Actually, probably. Um, and I needed to lay it all out so I knew what each piece looked like and how to make it more space conscious. With that said. This lake used to be empty, and then I built an ice rink. <laughs> anyway. We can run over here. I don't think there's anything in this house. Nope, just a bag. There might be something in this one, though. Doesn't seem like much. And then you go into the basement and you realize it's also empty. Damn it! Why didn't I furnish any of this stuff? I need to furnish- I need to really furnish more buildings in the lower city. <laughs> oh well. Oh well, I'll, I'll get to it eventually. It's a big place, okay? Uh, now then, gonna sort of run what? Really? Really? Run way over here, and this tower needs to be repaired because I blew it up apparently. Uh, oh yeah, I can see where I did it right there. Right there. Okay. Okay then. Uh, this on the other hand... That was a loud one. Prototype Crusher Trap. I wonder how this works. Oh. Well, it pushed me out because I'm immortal. And also because I'm not stuck against a wall. I've actually implemented this one, this one in a dungeon. Although, probably not very well if I'm being honest with myself. It's sort of a tricky, one, tricky but fun one to use. I think you can figure out how what it does after that demonstration. Despite his appearance, the dis- what? I, m I missed a sign somewhere. It was on here, wasn't it? Oh wait, the industrial district is responsible for the city's great wealth. Despite the appearance, which has a typo in it, damn it, the district also produces great strides in technology. And the wharf here, as you can see, has sort of been all built over. It's really, I mean, it's sort of, the name says it all. It looks like an industrial district, all cobblestone and square and not really a fun place to live, but maybe productive for industries, uh, redstone circuit research, i.e. various logic gates. And more up here, the complicated one. Wait, is that? Oh, that is a complicated one. Okay, anyway. Anyway. Let's not get sidetracked by redstone. The flame of industry. May it never die. And it hasn't yet. I'll tell you that much. Now we can take a brief detour over here. Pitfall trap prototype. Way across the bridge. Way, way, way across the bridge. Okay, this, I gotta be honest, is not a very good one. The idea is I can put a pressure plate here, it'll knock trigger the piston, and then, you know, I can just show you this one. Ta-da! It's not very clever, to be honest. But it was from when I was still experimenting with redstone to figure out what I can do. So it doesn't need to be super great. I mean, you can't, they can't all be winners, you know? Capitalist technology has a focus on development. Making new tech is more valuable than refining it. Which is my excuse for not actually bothering to refine a lot of it. Or at least not immediately. I, over time I have refined quite a lot of what I, of the various stuff I have in here. Just not here. It's an odd model, but, sell, but by selling the prototype, it works. Someone else pays to refine it, and Coppolis gets the result as part of the contract. 
So bit keen business sense someone has. Conveyor belt. This thing, it looks nice, but it totally doesn't work in Minecraft. Which is a damn shame, I've got to say. Ta-da! Conveyor belt. This is not on a clock, so it goes really slowly. I could probably make it go a lot faster if I wanted to. But that's refining. However, here's the thing. It doesn't actually push me along. Which is why conveyor belts sort of suck in Minecraft. Now, I wouldn't be falling through it if they weren't half blocks, but it still wouldn't push me. Still, it was a nice thing to try out. Lately, a great deal of effort has been put into trap making, because I put a lot of effort into trap making. This thing is my baby. Uh, I have actually refined this one as well so, to one that works a lot better. But, it's not inside the city. Mm. In case you're wondering, for the for what the hell this is, redstone on top. Redstone no longer on top. Oh, and that needs to be reset now. Doi. Which is something that's put into practice sort of here. If you're wondering why there's a piston here, let, allow me to demonstrate here. Oh, that's, that's not actually wired up. Allow me to demonstrate he here. And now you can't get your torch. Put this under the water, and you just drowned! Now this trap I have actually used in a dungeon. This is one of my favorite traps. It's not even... Honestly, it's not even a... In terms of difficulty for solving, it's not even that bad. But it's really, really um, thematically great. To actually just drown someone in a... Because this works in a huge ass room. And normally for a drown trap, you wouldn't be able to put it in a room. You need a narrow hallway because of the way the pistons work. But, yeah. So I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. I'm going to need to show you my dungeon at some point, actually. But I would need to get someone else to play it along at the same time to show that properly. So that's a future plans type thing. Uh, in any case... So the question, wait, right, so the question becomes, who is funding it? Me. Uh, this is just a general smelting station. Of course, sometimes unconventional tech gets made as well. No one can stop a stubborn developer. Isn't that the truth? Uh, this thing is kind of shit. It just does this, and if I stand on it more, it does it more. Until it eventually maxes out, which it always does. Because redstone wiring. Like I said, this is kind of shit. Oh well. In case of emergency, break glass. Uh, yes. Glass has been broken, emergency is over. But again, a lot of this stuff is from when I was still experimenting with redstone, and I just wanted to figure out what I could do with it. Incidentally, that sort of trap- using- I've used- tried using that as a trap before, as well. It doesn't work because the trap itself is fragile as all hell. And you- the best solution is to just break through it. Um, yeah. Uh, damn it! Screw you so much! I need to fix this as well, I suppose. Although, it does make a ni nice cliff, so I may not repair it completely. In any case, we're almost done. Uh, this is the same deal as the other one, basically, except with light. It's just finished maxing out, actually. Which, this doesn't even do anything, actually, come to think of it. I was hoping it would look nicer. It doesn't look that great. But you need to experiment to find out what works and what doesn't. Oh, the creep is on fire. Ha ha ha! That's a, is that a horse? Uh, and this is a big empty building, cause stuff. And with that, we have completed the tour of the lower city. Just a sec. And I'm on a horse. Or over a horse, anyway. So until next time, 
when I, when in the context of Minecraft, I give you a tour of the lower city, which you haven't really seen much of yet. Well, have a great day. Oh, and because I uh, haven't given you any hints yet, here is my hint for my next LP. It's going to be another Final Fantasy game. <laughs> I'm such a troll. Uh, seriously, though, have a great day. Bye.